Judith Myers. You know, every town is something like this happen. Couldn't believe it. Such a young boy. I watched him for 15 years, sitting in a room, staring at a wall, not seeing the wall, looking past the wall, looking at this night in humanly patient, waiting for some secret, silent alarm to trigger him off. Death has come to your little town. What's the boogeyman? As a matter of fact, it was. Sophia, you good? I don't know. Sophia, you good? She's probably good, yo. She's just a lightweight. Sophia? No, yeah, I'm fine. It's just my head feels weird is all. Do you need water or something? No, I'll, I'll be fine. Does anyone know how I broke my foot? Who asked how they broke their fucking foot? Sophia, this is the last time I'm gonna ask this. Are you sure you're good? She always looks like that, man. Steve! I'm sorry, I'm just trying to calm the situation. Okay, how about Steve and I go get her some water and Ben, can you just stay with her? Man, what a buzzkill. Come on, man, she's clearly not okay. Look, I didn't say I was not gonna go, okay? Okay, okay. Um, we'll be right back. This store's like 10 minutes or something. Can you please hurry? Yeah, of course. And I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. Are you really okay, Sophia? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just my head feels weird. Let me show you something. What is it? Just come with me, we'll be right back, I promise. Okay, fine. Yeah, it is. My grandfather used to pick me up from school when I was little. He'd take me fishing out on this river. It feels so long ago. Well, why'd you stop? Oh my 
god, Ben, did he pass? No. I did. Sophia, this isn't good. We gotta get you to a hospital. No, what do you mean? I'm fine. No, Sophia, you're losing too much blood. We gotta go now. <laughs> you can't. Do you, do you have a car? No, I, I don't have the keys. <laughs> I can't walk to a hospital from here, Ben. <laughs> okay, I know a shortcut. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> Are you okay? Why are you moving so slowly? Heck, what do you mean? <laughs> ben, my stomach hurts. It feels like I'm getting stabbed. Sophia, come on. We have to go now. <laughs> Sophia, please. Sophia, we have to go now. Come on. Come on.
actually an easy fix. So our modem has recently gone through an update that just fixes up little bugs and patches up various issues regarding internet connectivity. Are you near your modem right now? Yes. Okay, so at the back of your modem there should be a reset button. It's small but you'll see it. I see it. Convenient. Guess so. And what do I do exactly? Okay, so hold it down for three seconds, and then your modem should reset and beep twice, and after that you should be connected. Well, there you go. I'm connected. Thank you very much for the... No problem. And is there anything else that I can help you with today? Okay, wonderful. Have yourself a good day. Bye now. This is Marshall Dunslow, coming to you live from the WBBM News Desk. The famous Lampkin Parkway, a long trail that connects Haddonfield with the neighboring communities, has become the subject of police attention as citizens with properties adjacent to the pathway have been lodging complaints of pet disappearance. Subsequent investigation of the area led authorities to discover the carcasses of several domestic animals, apparently butchered in a manner the police will only describe as for practical purposes. Hey, what's up? It's the Tramer Report, coming back at you with some new scary details revolving around the Halloween massacre that occurred in this small town a year ago tomorrow. Hell yeah! The first anniversary of the killings that made this town poppin' again. That's right, poppin'. Obviously, if you haven't already noticed, all you have to do is turn on your TV or hit up social media to know the big news of the day. Calls have been made to the police on multiple occasions regarding Lambkin Pathway with the series of owners having their dogs butchered at night while they were left outside. Ouch. The owners' backyards are of course connected to the Everlong Pathway. Obviously, we know this infamous pathway is miles long and connects the various townships in the district. But, most importantly, we know this area because it would have been the same pathway that Myers would have used to escape the incident a year ago tomorrow. Myers went completely undetected from the pursuit of upcoming police at either end. How? I don't know. These current events have startled the townships in the area, but of course it has. Can't you see how truly amazing this is for our little communities? This particular town has seen a rise in tourism that 
surpasses our great memorial elephant that was struck by a train in 1885. This is crazy stuff, people. As for the details in the infamous Myers 2018 case, where is he? Where's he been this whole time? It's been a whole goddamn year, but I think I know. We have believed that the one and only Michael Myers has been roughing it around the skirts of Haddonfield for his time to come again. But what are his motives? Possibly the last survivor? It only makes sense. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I will be going on a secret adventure of my own. I'm not going yet. But I will be gone for a few days. The trip, however, will be well worth it. I swear to you, loyal supporters of the Tramer Report, you will be in both shock and awe. I'll catch you up back moments before I set off on my journey. This is the Tramer Report, signing off. WBBM News has learned that the police have reopened the famous Myers case from 2018. As our listeners will no doubt recall, this incident left five students and one officer dead. One individual resisted repeated attacks from the assailant who fled before he could be apprehended. The lone survivor was rushed to the hospital with upwards of 15 stab wounds. The police will not comment on the reopening of the Myers case or whether it is related to the grisly discoveries of mutilated animals up and down the Lampkin Parkway. The Lampkin Parkway runs immediately behind 568 Haven Lane, where Myers has been the prime suspect in the murders of five students as well as the responding officer. Police acknowledge that it is likely Myers escaped the scene by means of the pathway, although a lackluster search of the area yielded no arrests. Until recently, authorities believed that Myers had fled the area or had succumbed to injuries that he himself sustained while perpetrating the 2018 attacks. I got my vacation time, I am gonna be on one of those things. Tell me about dog. I like Yeah, come for the job though. This is literally this week of day. This is like a stress for me. That was a quiet man. Well what do you expect? My three years living here? Can't say it gets any more excited here in Haberfield. I would say it's a shitty town, but uh I can't really say that. I didn't live here, so... Hey, I live here. It is a shitty place. <laughs> what time you finish? Clock out at 3? Probably die of starvation, though. That sucks, my dude. We have a 1017 at 568 Haven Lane, Haddonfield. I repeat, a 1017 at 568 Haven Lane, Haddonfield. Can someone radio back? Over. Uh, ten four, Officer Wilkins here. I'll check out that ten seventeen. I'll go. Don't worry. Um, you sit and eat. I'm going up that way anyways, so. Don't worry, I got it. You sure? Yeah. It's probably some kids just messing around anyways. Well, take your radio just in case. Call back if you ever need any help. In this town, I don't think anyone needs a radio. Remember, tomorrow, don't be late. 
It's my daughter's birthday. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Ciao. reports on multiple screams coming from that 1017. Officer Wilkins, we suggest coming into this one armed. 10-4. You don't call this number again. Got it? Yep. Hey. Hi. Hello. My name's Matthew Chamber. I was just calling to ask if you could give me some information. Excuse me? Who are you? How'd you get this number? And let's just say I know you're the guy that did everything for her. We can make a deal, you and I. I won't give the public her name. And you will give me her new location. I'm not doing that. I'll be spilling the news on my new podcast that hits my website at 10 p.m. October 31st. Halloween night. I guess we'll get just as many views when they find out who the victim that got away was. You know he's still out there, right? Killing more and more people. And what has it been? A year since the killings in 2018? I don't think he's done more. He is going to find her. Just you wait.
So doctor, what they say, is it broken? Well, actually I'm a nurse and yeah, it's broken in three different parts. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to wear this boot for about six to eight weeks. Stay off of your leg. You can wear it whenever, just don't wear it when you're sleeping. The doctor will be in with you shortly though. And we're gonna prescribe you with medication that you're supposed to take two every four hours, okay? Next time, be more careful with your foot. Because this is a very like, serious situation. A lot of people don't make it out of these kind of situations alive. Next time, be more careful, more vigilant of what you're doing. But I'm gonna strap up this boot because it's a very solid boot and it does suit you. And I do like it. But remember, stay off of this. Brian Wilkins, the police officer that was with you when, you know. See, I don't think good things are coming your way, and I was wondering if maybe... What's up, folks? This is the Train Report, coming back at you guys just before I head out on my mystery journey that will get me the interview of a lifetime. For all you listeners that have been playing me for years, buckle up. This is going to be a treat for all of you. I guarantee it. This will be the content we've all been waiting for from the one victim herself and the last and only survivor from the grips of Myers. But I've been requested not to give out her personal details on this particular person in this case. However, I can assure you, this will be the biggest interview we have ever hosted here on the Tramer Report. And she will have to give the interview. Otherwise... I will leak everything on Halloween night, 10 p.m. Be there or be square. Also, you guys don't have to worry about my safety. We all know Myers is out there, but after all, he can't be like a normal looking person, right? I mean, the guy's been lit on fire, shot a dozen times, right? <laughs> am I right or am I right? He's not just going grocery shopping and saying hi to every Susie Q, is he? I doubt it. He is mysterious. Perhaps the most mysterious, infamous, deadly killer we have ever seen. But I also know I am not a guy who is easily afraid. Although, I have to cut this session short at this time, I will be back. But in just a few days, 
Don't go starving, peeps. The Trainmore Report, signing off. How's everything going? Hey Peter, I was just calling to ask if you could stop by my house and feed my cat. It'll just be tonight. Yeah, sure thing, man. Cool. Thanks, kid. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, I heard on the Tramer Report about your uh, mysterious interview journey thing. You mind uh, telling me what that could possibly be? Oh, I don't know, kid. This is some real shit here. Dude, I, I swear I won't tell, I promise. You cannot tell anyone. It could have serious repercussions. Dude, you've known me since I was like three. When have I ever broken promises or told secrets? <sighs> okay. So obviously you are aware that one of the victims from the 2018 Myers killings got away, right? Yeah, of course. Anyone that's a fan of Myers knows that someone got away from the killings last year. Yes, and you know what happened to this person. After the murders, the person fled the area, and I believe they've been gone ever since. Right. Well, all the Myers fan sites and internet bloggers have been pinning all the points together, and it was actually easy to figure out. Sophia Cortat, the 17-year-old foster child, was the fled victim from the 2018 Myers killings. 
Nice, dude. How'd you do that? The internet's gonna blow up once you release this. Oh, a few connections. That's all I gotta say. Do you think she's gonna talk? She's gonna have to. You wouldn't actually leak all her info, would you? Well, people gotta do what people gotta do to get up in this world. It's this going to hurt? Her, maybe? <laughs> she almost died. She's been through so much worse. Trust me. That's just the way that I see it, little guy. Besides, as I said before, if you want to end up working for me, you have to learn how to not let stuff like this get to you. Plain as that. You're right. Tell you what, I gotta head out. Duty calls and I gotta get myself to Haddon Heights. Shouldn't be too far now. Hey, where are you sleeping once you get there? Crashing in the car. Should be quite the experience. Anywho. Toodaloo, Pete. Bundle up and stay safe.
Oh, I am so sorry. I did not mean to make you jump. But since it is Halloween, I figured everyone's entitled to one good scare. I've had my share. Yeah. By the way, I'm your neighbor. We're from the same building. I'm just two floors above. Oh, cool. Yeah. And speaking of which, I'm having like a little Halloween party. And I was hoping that maybe you could swing by. You'll have fun, I promise. Trust me. Okay, sure. Okay, great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure to bring a costume, okay? Okay, see you. For my monster from his slab began to rise And suddenly, to my surprise He did the mash He did the monster mash The monster mash It was a graveyard smash He did the mash It caught on in a flash He did the mash He did the monster mash wow. From my laboratory in the castle east wow. To the master bedroom where the vampires feast wow. The ghouls all came from their humble abode To get a jolt from my electrode They did the mash They did the monster mash The monster mash It was a graveyard smash They did the mash It caught on in a flash They did the mash They did the monster mash The zombies were having fun The party had just begun The guests included Dracula and his son. Wow. The scene was rocky, all were digging the sounds. Wow. Igor on chains, backed by his baying hounds. Wow. The coffin bangers were about to arrive, wow. but their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five, they played the mash. They played the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. They played the mash. It was all in a flash. They played the mash. They played the monster. Hello, thank you for calling the Hide and Heights Mobile Support Center. How may I help you? Hi, Mia. Who is this? My name's Matthew Tramer. Okay, and um, how did you get in contact with me? This is a tech call company? I got your extension through the operator. And that's not important. What is important is that I know who you really are, and on my way to get what I wanted, I ran into a familiar face that you may know. What are you talking about? Miss Cortot. Please don't do this. I just want one interview. I'm not doing an interview. Well, I don't think you have much of a choice. Are you blackmailing me? I believe I am. Well, what's the worst that can happen? The public forgets about things in literal minutes. There's always something new and shiny flashing at them, begging for their attention. As a minor news journalist slash podcaster, I think I know what I'm speaking of. Why did you mention him? He hasn't been seen in over a year. You said you saw him? Yes, I did. And I know it was him. I've been studying him ever since his last documented killings in 2018. Your case. He will find me, I'm not doing it. I landed into him maybe an hour back from here. I'd say you're safe for now. And there's always a chance he's probably forgotten about you by now. Maybe. Do you think he listens to the radio? Or goes on the internet to see who's been talking about him? The way I see it, you have no choice but to do my interview. But don't worry, there'll be no camera, just a microphone. And the full Sophia Cortot experience, down to the bone of it. And then, you will move states this time. Start fresh again. Then make some new friends, and watch them all get butchered to pieces just for knowing your name. Sorry for being so outspoken about it, I don't know who you are and I don't care. Like I said, the public forgets about things literally in minutes, and then it's on to the next big thing. The 
world is so desensitized, but I think you should already know that. You're evil. No, I'm just a guy trying to make some money. I will see you tonight at your place. Nine o'clock. No, 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 please don't. Good afternoon, viewers of The Chamber Report, and all listeners tuning in now. This is Matthew Chamber. This is Matthew Dreamer. I'm ready. Hey kid, things have escalated quite quickly. H how so? I saw him, Peter. I saw him. Yes, who, who else would I be talking about? I saw him last night after the call I had with you. Why didn't you call me and tell me about this earlier? No offense, but I've been a little busy to call some kid right now. Some kid who's watching your cat, that is. Well, anyways, I called you right now because I am about to do the interview, and I have a really bad feeling that things are about to get much, much worse. Should I call the cops? And tell them what? That your friend saw some creepy guy in a washroom? Who didn't do anything? You said you saw Myers! They're gonna need more than that. I have to get going, but... I'm gonna to try to make it back home tonight. Please wait up for me. And I'll try to keep you posted. Will do. Thanks, kid. Ciao.
Ooh, nice place. Sure, I've been keeping you comfortable. I pay for my own living, thank you. <laughs> living. What is it that you want? It's really simple, actually. I said it before. The full Sophia Cordat experience. What do you want to know? Everything. I want to know everything you saw that night. I want to know all the feelings you felt. I want to know why he chose you and killed all of your friends. And then why you chose to run away. From all of it. I got a young female here bleeding from the midsection pretty bad. Mid 20s, I'll say. She doesn't have long. I need an emergency immediately. What is your location, sir? First in McKenzie. Please get here fast. Shall we begin? All right, so many questions, what to start with? <sighs> Welcome back to the Chamber Report. We have finally made it here, to the interview we have all been dreading to hear. From the almost victim that nearly didn't get away. From the very infamous and deadly Michael Myers butchering of 2018. You don't have to say that. What? Butchering? I'm not trying to hurt your feelings here, sweetheart. I'm merely trying to make an observation of the situation. So as I was saying, <clears throat> we have with us today the Scream Queen herself, Sophia Cortad. So, Sophia, let's start off simple. How have you been? Good, I guess. Awesome. Awesome. And can you tell us, where have you been living? Yeah, a town called Haddon Heights, just a couple of hours away from Haddonfield. Yeah, Haddon Heights. I believe most of us are familiar with it. 
So can you explain to us why that is? Why are you having an interview here in an apartment that shouldn't belong to you? In a place where no one knows you for who you really are? And of course what I mean by that is your name has changed slightly since the last time I checked. Sophia Cortad doesn't seem to be a person that exists or even existed in Haddonfield. Why is that all of a sudden? I'm sure you have a lot to say, so please, please explain everything. A year ago today, I was with Anna. We met up with some friends from school. They said that they were going to go get beer and for us to wait back at their house. And when we got there, of course, there was no parents around. Something did feel off about that night. Continue. So one thing led to another with people leaving and then not showing up. And then by the time you knew it, it was just me and Ben in his house alone. We were in his room. I was talking on the phone and he said he was going to go upstairs to get us beer in the fridge. Then all of a sudden I hear a knock on the door. I thought it was Ben. So I told him to come in and he kept knocking and then I started yelling at him and all of a sudden the door flings open and there is some man with coveralls and a mask and I thought it was Ben playing some sick joke so I went up to him and I started hitting him and telling him to take off the mask and the next... He stabbed me. I ran up the stairs to try to find Ben, but by the time I made it to the main floor, he was already dead. I made it to the bathroom with all the energy that I had left, and I went to go be hide behind the bathtub and behind the curtains. In the bathtub, I, I thought that maybe he wouldn't find me. Maybe I'd be lucky. But he walked in the bathroom and he started attacking me. How exactly? Stabbing? Yes. I, I can't remember it stopping. I, I keep playing it in my head. I, so I pretended to be dead. Well, this is some great stuff. So, um, the name Mia Castle, what made you decide to get the alias alteration? Were you afraid of the past coming back to hunt you? Or were you just naturally good at running away? I've read that, uh, you were a foster child? I had help with my name change. I, there was nothing left for me in Haddonfield. By the time I was ready old enough to leave, so why not? Well... Answer. Um, who is it? I'm gonna try to see who it is. Stay there and answer when needed. Hello, 
could you come back some other time? This isn't the greatest moment. Excuse me. Get up and do exactly as I say, and then you'll live. What's going on? Who is it? You don't want to do this. Trust me, I do. You really gonna kill somebody? Hey, I wouldn't risk anything, Wilkins. With all the information you gave me, you could lose your job. I don't want to do that to you. I could ruin two lives pretty goddamn quickly, couldn't I? What is this all for anyways? A few extra clicks? A couple bucks? What about your credibility? <laughs> credibility? In a world where everything's just glorified violence, I thought that if it mattered to anyone, it wouldn't be that many people. Plus, this can do so much more good than bad. Websites, podcasts, books, merchandise, tourism. It's a money-making machine, and I'm just getting my well-deserved slice of the cake. <laughs> Help! 
Where else are you gonna go? The police are just gonna incarcerate him again, even after he slaughtered two dozen people. I'm not calling the police. Oh my God. We have to go. Please help me. Please. Come on. Do you have a car? Yeah, but... But what? I think that's how we got here. You mean... Yeah. Oh my god, that's creepy. You must know everything by now. My friends and my family... He's gonna kill them all. No, no, he won't. We won't let him. Oh yeah? And what exactly are you gonna do about it? We have to go now. Come. Help me. Oh 
Okay, Sophia. We have to get going. I just feel like I've seen this before. Yeah, no shit. It was a year ago. Today. Come on, we seriously have to go. Let's get moving. I think I can keep doing this with my leg. I think I need an ambulance. Where do you think he is? I don't know, man. God, this hurts. No. You're still there? Yes, of course I'm still here. Where else would I be? Do you have some sort of light? No, all my equipment's at your apartment. Shit. Here. Right, let me get up. Here. We're actually not that far. If we just make it up here. Dreamer? <laughs> Too much blood. Go get home.
horror grips our small community as the macabre scene that played out one year ago seems to be unfolding once again. As listeners will recall, WBBM broke the story that authorities had reopened the infamous Myers case after suspicious activity in the area of the Lampkin Parkway led to gruesome discoveries. Police had been focusing their search efforts in and around the Haddonfield section of the trail. However, as events unfolded last evening, it would appear that they had been searching in the wrong area. Bodies were discovered in Haddon Heights, with wounds that bear similarities to those known to be the hallmark of murderer-at-large Michael Myers. Haddon Heights ERT responded to a call and found a deceased female in an alleyway, eviscerated. A young male victim was discovered alive but badly injured at the Haddon Heights end of the Lampkin Parkway itself. The injuries have been reported to be consistent with those of a blunt instrument like a hammer. The victim was in shock due to loss of blood and rushed to hospital with life-threatening injuries. In a shocking turn of events, it has been discovered that the apparent target of this past evening's murderous rampage had been the sole survivor of last year's gruesome attacks. Sophia Cortot, with the help from law enforcement agencies, was able to create and live under a new identity in the community of Haddon Heights for the past year. The officer, notionally responsible for helping Ms. Cortot in setting up her new identity, has been operating in disguise and undercover. He was found in a pool of his own blood. Miss Cortot was discovered on the scene, armed with a pistol, and in a semi-lucid state. At the request of Miss Cortot, she was remanded to Smith's Grove Sanatorium. The officer in question was rushed to hospital for emergency care. The whereabouts of Myers has not been disclosed. <laughs> Love scars, love of wounds and mars, any heart not tough, not strong enough to take a lot of pain, take a lot of pain. Love is like a cloud that holds a lot of rain. Love hurts. Ooh, love hurts. I'm young. I